We can make fractions easier to work with by reducing them to their lowest terms. Let's see how this works. Let's say we're given the fraction 10 25ths. It's important to know that when we divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, the value of the fraction stays the same. Let's find the largest number that will divide into both 10 and 25. The largest number that will divide into both 10 and 25 is 5. So we'll divide both 10 and 25 by 5 to give us another fraction. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. And 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. So our original fraction 10 25ths has now been reduced to 2 fifths. The fraction 2 fifths is in its lowest terms. We can say this because the 2 and the 5 cannot be divided by the same whole number other than 1. We can see how these two fractions are the same by drawing a diagram with 25 squares put together to form a large square. We'll color 10 of the 25 little squares blue. So we can say that 10 25ths of the large square is made up of blue squares. Now we'll place a big square on top that's the same size as the large square, and we'll move it over to the right. We'll divide it into five rectangles like this, and we'll color two of the five rectangles blue. So two-fifths of the rectangles in the large square are blue. We can see that the fractions 10 25ths and two-fifths which are both blue, cover the same proportion of each large square. This becomes more clear if we take out the numbers and move the squares together like this. Let's do another example. We have the fraction 40 over 56, and we want to see if we can reduce it to its lowest terms. We need to find the largest number that will divide into both 40 and 56. Recalling our times table, 8 turns out to be the largest number that will divide into 40 and 56. So we'll divide 40 and 56 by 8 to reduce this to a simpler fraction. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7. So the original fraction 40 over 56 can be reduced to 5 sevenths. To review, if we have an original fraction and we want to reduce it, we write the fraction with its numerator and denominator. Then if possible, we find a number that we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by and divide them both by that same number. And that gives us a fraction that is equal to the original fraction in value, but is now in its lowest terms. Mm -hmm.